Well, first of all, uh, psychoanalysis has learned a great deal from art. So now we're only turning it around a bit and adding something. But, <laughs> but we've learned a great deal. As a psychoanalyst, as a doctor, uh, maybe as an ordinary person, um, uh, I think of uh, love relationships as being central to our existence. That without that, we're in a pretty sad state. And I think Ibsen realized that, and I think this is what he's writing about. A motherless woman marrying a fatherless uh, man. Hmm. And I mean, he doesn't know how to be a real husband to, uh, and how that role is, and she doesn't know what is the role, maternal role or, or the role of a mother or what she should do. She has, has had no model for it. Gibson, in his genius, presents every character behaving in various ways, some of them very self-destructively, and some of them uh, destructive to others. But their behavior, unfortunately, is never in the direction of really um, giving to the other person and establishing the basis of what we could say would be a real love relationship. Part of the problem that's being presented here by Ibsen that people are unable to put together the issues that involve love. And what, what involves love? Well, this is alluded to. Brock says, it's sex. Uh, the elderly ladies in the play say, the purpose of life is to be taking care of people. Are these two sides of a love relationship, that, of love which should be put together? And these poor souls in this play, none of them can put it together. She can't stand not having the freedom but I think there's significance to twice in the play, she asks actually, can I help, is there anything I can do to help you? And actually, to some extent, that's out of character because she isn't the altruistic, helpful kind of person. But she asks, and she is then told, oh no, we don't need you, and so on. I think one of the wonderful things about plays like this that have been around for so long and have been produced again and again and again and again and again with regularity is that of course, and, and hopefully a good production leaves all these questions completely open to your interpretation. So everybody's perspective is equally valid. And one is not right, one is not wrong, um, uh, usually, unless you're in just sort of direct contradiction with the text. And even then, your experience is your experience. So as I, I, I often, I, I try to engage in e-correspondence with anybody who writes to the theater to say that they did or did not like a play. And usually what I try and articulate is that uh, whatever your feeling is about a production, you are entitled to that perspective.